Hey guys, we are at the Tillamook Cheese Factory. Sorry if I'm talking kind of low, but um, just wanted to show you guys around. Um, what else? This is the temporary building they just made. Um, but yeah, this is just the temporary building they just made. Just, uh, they just tore down the other one that they had. Um, the, let's see here. Question I hear moves. Tilly. That's not really loud, is it? Alright then. It's not really that loud. What else? Hmm. This is where they milk the cows. Yep. Huh. Milking 101. Oh, that would be helpful to read. Milking 101. Yeah, it's called the trucking company for the cheese factory. But yeah, I guess they're gonna be making a new. Um, these are all the what? making a new building. So this that's what they. A, I think what they eat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good nutrition. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get a picture of that actually. There we go. I'm gonna get a this picture. Is what farmers do. This is what farmers do. Wake up, they do a lot of work. Yep. Wake up, start morning milking, feed the cow. Jesus. They mil milk twice a day. Yeah. Dang, man. It's a lot. Well, they put the baby cows in these tiny things. That's where the house, the baby cows. Hmm. Kind of cool. Tilly Jr., I want to see that. Press Go ahead. One month old. Something. Not that loud. Oh, they have huge speakers out there that do it. We should take that TV home with it. Yeah, I would love it. That's the way you can get uh, the cheese samples. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right here for it. Yeah, in a second. In a minute. Just gonna go walk around in here for a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is the cheese factory. Tillamook cheese, famous Tillamook cheese. It's all over the coast, all over the, the globe. Which I think is actually pretty cool. Oh, well, they sell solar eclipse stuff here too. Do they really? Cool. Because yeah. we're right in the heart of the solar eclipse. We're going to be right in the blackout area, which is actually pretty cool. But uh, I think that's actually pretty cool. Anyways, guys, just wanted to show you guys around and... Um, it shows how long the cheese is at age. Oh, that's kind of cool. How long the cheeses are aged. That's cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys around and make a quick video. It's not very great video, but uh, something that we could show you guys. And yeah, anyways, guys, thank you for watching and subscribe down below and see you in the next one. Hey guys, we are back. I just wanted to show you everything that we got from the cheese factory. After we went on that little tour, uh, I got a well, it's kind of scratched up, but a Tillamook cup, which I thought was actually pretty cool. It's just Tillamook on it. Um, I got a nice hat, which is cheaply made, but I like it. Uh, it says Tillamook County Creamy, Cre <laughs> Creamy Creamery Association. From her, it's, it's their logo, which is, I like, kind of like it. It's kind of cool. Um... Then we got this stuff. I got a magnet. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually one of the cheapest magnets they have for six bucks. Um, really ridiculous. But this is the cheapest one that they have, and it's all scratched up. But um, yeah, cheapest one they have, and it is all scratched up. It wasn't even like the best one they had. Um, see, and then 
There's one more thing, or two, well, this bumper sticker for my car, because I have a lot of bumper stickers, and I wanted one of these. And then there's this, which, oh man, she had to paint the butt on her app. She taped it, the, tape, the sales lady. Oh man. I got one of these, these are pretty cool. It's uh, a little tiny milk jug. Um, you put your, you know, it's a, it's a decoration. Since Tillamook is known for its milk and cheese and ice cream, they have one of these. I thought it was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. So there's that. Roll it back up. Nowhere near what they had it, but we'll see. Something like that. Oh, it's actually pretty close. Um, I'll put that stuff back in the bag here, and I'll show you a few more things we didn't we got, but not at the cheese factory. Um, we'll see here. Keep that in there. Put this over here. Actually, believe it or not, this this hat was one of the cheapest ones they had at fourteen ninety nine. Um, then we went to the local store, and we got some Eclipse cups. Where were you? Uh, the Great American Eclipse of August 21st, 2017. It's actually only like a dollar, two bucks or so. And then we got one of these, and then we got one of these for ten bucks, I think. Was it ten bucks, really? No. No, it was on sale for six dollars, right? Six nine nine. Uh, where, where will you be August 21st? Um, we're actually right there. So... We will be in the path of the eclipse, and I will be sure to have a video for you of it, I hope, if I can capture it. Um, so we got those two cups, and then we got some shirts. I got this one for myself, which I kind of like. It's nice. Not the best, but best one they had. I like it. The Great American Eclipse. And then I paid ten, we paid ten bucks for. <clears throat> Man, <coughs> I had a little bit of a chip in my mouth. I choked on it. Ten bucks. And then there's another one that we got for her. Um, we got this one. Different design. They didn't have the. Uh, I got the last one of the other design. So there's this. It says, where were you? It says, the Great American Eclipse. So, that's pretty cool. I would have got it, but I just don't like the color red on me all too much. Besides, my new Tesla shirt I uh, never showed you guys, and I never wore it yet, but I went to the Tesla store and I... Uh, Did you tell them how much it costed? Yeah, I paid $35 for a shirt at the Tesla store, just because I like Tesla. Uh... One of the most outrageous prices I've ever paid for a shirt, but I had to do it. <laughs> I wanted it so bad. But, um, yeah. That's it. I think you paid like 30 bucks for that. Like, just off. $20, so like $30 altogether for the cups and the shirts. Which is kind of a lot, but... I had to do it, and uh, we'll probably be going back to the, probably be going back to the cheese factory before we leave, so there might be another video uh, of us getting ice cream in, and uh, that kind of stuff. Um, then there'll be a, hopefully a video of the eclipse if I can catch it. It's supposed to be the busiest day in Oregon in history, for you know travel wise. They're deploying the national guard and all that, and the coast guard to help out with traffic and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to bring in millions of people, which is pretty crazy, because it's all going to be right here, right where we are, in the few towns up and along the co uh, coast, so that way they can see the blackout area of the eclipse, which would be something like this, you know, where you won't be able to see anything. I mean, the further along, up and down the coast, you'll see more sun, less sun, but right, right where we are, kind of a little bit south of us, will be the absolute dead center of the eclipse but we're like a little bit up but we're not going to travel because it's not going to be worth it it's just going to take hours to travel like 30 minutes it's going to take a few hours 
Uh, we're just probably going to go outside or out to the beach or something and watch it. I'm not quite sure, but it's still like weeks away. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh just wanted to show you guys that and share that experience with you and add this to the video. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Subscribe down below. And as always, thank you for watching.